Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving electrical power, namely the relationship between power, energy and time. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a washing machine uses 86.4 kilojoules of energy in a time of 3 minutes. Calculate the power rating of the machine. Well, first of all, notice that the two values given in the question have prefixes, so we've got kilojoules instead of just joules, and we've got minutes instead of just seconds. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the power P. We know that the energy E is 86.4 kilojoules, which is the same as 86.4 times 10 to the 3 joules. And the time T is 3 minutes, so we need to multiply 3 by 60 to get the number of seconds in that. So that's 3 times 60 is 180 seconds. So writing down the equation relating power, energy and time, we have P equals E over T. And substituting in the numbers gives us 86.4 times 10 to the 3 divided by 180. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 480 watts. Question 2 says that the power rating of a kettle is 2.5 kilowatts. How much energy is used in 5 minutes? Again, we're given prefixes in our values here, not the standard units. So we need to convert those. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the energy. We know that the power is 2.5 kilowatts, which is the same as 2.5 times 10 to the 3 watts. And the time is 5 minutes. So 5 times 60 gives us 300 seconds. Writing down our equation, we have P equals E over T, and rearranging for energy E, we can multiply both of these together to get P times T, so E equals PT, and substituting in the numbers, we get 2.5 times 10 to the 3 times 300, and putting this into your calculator gives a final answer of 7.5 times 10 to the 5 joules. Lastly, question 3 says that if a 1 kilowatt appliance uses 3.6 megajoules of energy, how long was the appliance on for? So it's asking us for a time, and notice again we've got prefixes in our values. So this is good practice of prefixes. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find time t. We know the energy E is 3.6 megajoules, which is the same as 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules, and the power P is 1 kilowatt, which is the same as 1000 watts, or 1 times 10 to the 3 watts. So writing down our equation then, we have P equals E over T, and rearranging for time, we can actually just swap the P and T, so we get T equals E over P, and putting in our numbers now gives us 3.6 times 10 to the 6, divided by 1000. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 3.6 times 10 to the 3 seconds. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.